contrary to what some people think, I don't actually have anything against Christians as a whole. I know many personally, and quite a few of them are respectable people, but like any group, there are some bad apples. Actually, nasty might be a better word for it in this case. Unfortunately, in this part of the world, it seems that anything coming from a well-dressed person wearing a crucifix is treated as gospel for some reason. The latest thing to come from conservative Christians, and please note my emphasis this time, is a group that wants to rewrite the Bible because of a supposed liberal bias that has been imposed on Jesus in recent years. Yeah, have any of these people actually read the thing? That's something that drives me completely up the wall about these so-called religious fundamentalists. Whenever they quote a recent Bible translation to claim that God is a xenophobic tyrant, that's perfectly fine. But if an agnostic guy like me uses the King James translation to prove otherwise, and in full context, they invariably say that I'm distorting it or even making it up. The Canadian Family Action Coalition, through senior member Brian Rushfeld, actually told me personally that I mistook Jesus for Robin Hood because I pointed out that his own Lord and Savior's teachings emphasized helping the poor and reaching out to your enemies. Apparently, Mr. Rushfeld also slept through those parts about Jesus being the multitude, turning the other cheek, training others as he wished to be treated, and forgiving your enemies. A right-wing think tank called the ECP Center, standing for Equipping Christians for the Public Square, actually goes so far as to say that teaching equality and the questioning of authority is evil and will actually kill innocent people. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm positive that Jesus wasn't exactly peachy with the authorities of his day, and I'm not aware of him ever saying that it's all right to condemn someone just for being different from you. Nor would I think he condoned slandering every gay person as an eighth carrying pedophile, given that one of the Ten Commandments forbids lying. And don't even get me started on this convert or you're going to hell attitude, given that Jesus said in the Gospel that missionaries are actually supposed to leave people alone if they decline to convert. Frankly, this is just a quiet admission from the funnies that they don't really care about what their own Bible actually says, they just have their own agenda, which is pretty much to control as much as they can and be sadistic to anyone who isn't a greedy, white, straight fanatic. Ever notice that when Osama bin Laden's people say that 9-11 was godly punishment and that anyone who doesn't convert will be killed, we quite reasonably want to fight back? Yet when people such as Ann Coulter, Glenn Beck, and Pat Robertson say the exact same thing, no one questions it? It makes me shudder to think about what these revisionist psychos would do to Leviticus, which already reads like a Taliban manual. I'm serious, according to that book, everything short of walking on the grass is punishable by stoning. I mean, I'm sorry, but Christian fundamentalists have been trying to rewrite and distort history for centuries. They've always ignored those parts of various constitutions that say gays, foreigners, and non-Christians have the same rights as anyone else, or any rights at all sometimes. They ignore that America was founded specifically on the principles of freedom as well as separation of church and state. They think that evolution is a fairy tale when they seriously think that a man's physical strength is in his hair, and so on and so forth. They're just taking the next logical step, which is to rewrite and distort their own belief system against that pesky little thing called reality. Not to mention doing far more damage to Christianity's credibility than their so-called enemies in atheism, paganism, and Islam ever could. So when will these funnies just come out and admit that all they really want is to take over the world and eliminate every last flick of dissent and diversity? More importantly, when will the honorable and noble people who actually understand what Christianity's point is actually stand up to these fanatics? That's it for me.